Hello, everybody. Uh, my name is Mr. Max. Thank you for being here. I am a big dumb animal that's going to be playing some Dark Souls for your enjoyment over the course of the next few days. Uh, what we're going to do here is I'm going to start a brand new save file on Dark Souls. And from my memory, we're going to play through the game completely. And I haven't played this for a couple years by now. Uh, but we're going to go by memory and we're going to do a complete run through the game. We're going to pick up all the items we can. We're going to kill all the bosses that we can. And at the end of that first playthrough, then I'm going to look at the things I missed and what we need in order to turn this into a 100% completed game. And then in New Game Plus and forward, uh, we're going to take this from a 0% completed game to a 100% completed game. All right? And my experience with the series is I love this franchise. I have 100%ed it twice, uh, once on Xbox One, maybe even the 360, and once on PC. Um, but like I said, I haven't played it for a couple years. Uh, we're going to pop into this, and we're going to knock it out. But that being said, I have 100%ed Dark Souls twice, but that doesn't mean that I'm any good at Dark Souls. Uh, so I'm going to make questionable decisions. Uh, there's going to be lots of deaths. We're probably going to lose some bodies. Uh, I'm just going to tell you dumb stories and kind of ramble on for a while. And let's, I mean, let's just see what happens. Let's take all these things and make a salad. You know what I'm saying? Uh, so this is the character that we are going to end up playing here. And I've gone through these classes and I thought about it. And we're going to start the game as a thief because in order to get all of the scrolls and miracles that we're going to need, we need to get our intelligence and our faith up to 15 apiece. Uh, so we're eligible to get all those things. And the thief starts with the master key, which if you don't take the master key, a lot of people don't know this. If you don't take the master key, you actually can't beat the game. Like nobody's ever done it before. It's, it's impossible. And being that we have the Master Key, we might as well just take the Twin Humanities, because everything else is Garbo. Um, being that this is a fantasy game, and I am not what we would call very slim, uh, we're going to go ahead and choose that. And of the face styles that we have available here, we're going to take this, uh, we're going to take this Ryan Reynolds, this Ryan Reynolds looking motherfucker over here. Uh, because if you look at him, he looks like he still has hopes and dreams and the world hasn't crushed him yet. Uh, he still wants to be things like, like maybe a firefighter or a truck. I don't know, something like that. And in a case of art imitating life, I'm going to then give him, uh, my haircut right there. And then we're going to give Ryan Reynolds some dreamy silver eyes. And our character's name, this is, uh, is going to be Trombone. And we off. We are definitely not going to watch the little intro video, uh, or this little part right here. Uh, if you really want to watch them, you're going to hop over to, uh, YouTube. And you're gonna watch the Dark Souls like intro movie, but essentially, uh, this this is what you missed. There's there's darkness, and then there's fire, and then there's some people, and some people die. We throw lightning at dragons, and then we end up in jail. Uh, that's that's really what you missed. And this is the stray demon, and I'm so gonna fuck that. But later. Later. We are off into the wonderful world of Dark Souls. Uh, for those of you, if you are new to the game, thank you very much for being here. I really appreciate it. I hope you find this entertaining and enjoyable. Um, Dark Souls is a fantastic game. And you should definitely give it a shot sometime. If you are a veteran or returning player uh, like myself, I know that sometimes I just like to watch people play through Dark Souls and see kind of what they do, what their play style is, the things they do, the things they miss. Um, 
how much they can bench press, you know, things like that. Um, but we're going to be sneaky and we're going to look up here and that guy, that guy thinks he's being so clever right now, but he's not. He's just going to hop in here and he's just going to be like, surprise, motherfucker. And that's how, that's how you beat that boss right there. We, uh, we just beat the first boss in the game. Um, probably one of the trickiest bosses in the game, honestly. This is, this is a very difficult game as you just saw right there. We have a shield. And we're gonna pop over here. How funny would it be if I'm just starting this Dark Souls playthrough and the first thing that I do is get shot in the face with an arrow. As soon as I just step around that corner, just pink. I wouldn't doubt it. This game... This game is equal parts incredibly fair and so cheap. So petty, cheap, spiteful. Those are all very good words I would use to describe Dark Souls. But equally, incredibly fair. And I think that's part of the reason that people love it as much as they do. Uh, we set off a trap. It blows up a wall. We come in here. Uh, this is Oscar. He's a Virgo. And he was fighting the demon that's up on top of the roof. And the demon hit him. He got knocked through the ceiling. And he's here just kind of just kind of bleeding out and dying. Oh, you. You're no hollow. Huh? Nope. Thank goodness. I'm done for, I'm afraid. Oh, no. I'll die soon. Then lose my sanity. Oh, I'm no, y'all. something of you. You and I, we're both undead. Hear me out, will you? Oh, all right, guys. This is our this is our first major decision of the game right here. Um, I'm gonna go with yes. I'm gonna go yes. Regrettably, I have failed in my. But perhaps you can keep the torch lit. There is an old saying in my family: "Thou who art undead art chosen." In thine exodus from the undead asylum. Make a pilgrimage to the land of ancient lords. When thou ringeth the bell of awakening, the fate of the undead thou shalt know. Well, now you know. That's a terrible when family I saying. Down, open my heart. Oh, one more thing. Like, Here, my dad had a saying that he always told us, and it was it was like, an Estes flask. Don't stick your dick in crazy. I mean, favorite. he wasn't like, uh. Thou shalt go to the Walmart and buyeth thine milk, and thus ye shall become a man. Now I must bid farewell. I would have to thank <laughs> And then the guy's like, here's some booze and the keys to my car, but you don't get my shield or my sword or my armor, which would probably help you a lot. Look, look at this shield right here. Look at your shield. Look at this shield. This is not going to do a thing. What a dick. Oh no. Oh no, did I kill him with my words? Oh, now I feel terrible. I'm going to miss that guy, guys. <laughs> I had some of the best times of my life. Uh -huh. One time he told me what his family said. It was terrible, but I, I'll still remember all of it. I don't remember any of it, actually. Alright, so... We got some booze. We got the keys to dude's car. We got some fancy boots. We're ready to go. If we had a bunch of our parents' money, we would be all set to join, like, a frat. Or a sorority. We don't judge here. We kind of judge, though. I mean, I don't know. Like, I'm, I'm gonna say that, but, like, secretly, I don't know. We, we judge a little. Everybody judges. If you don't judge people just a little bit, then you're lying, and... I, I'm totally judging you for that. I'm sorry. It's all over, silent demon. I have the high ground. All right, first boss time. 
Uh, Dark Souls has a couple really tricky boss strategies. Uh, this one involves uh, stabbing the boss in the butt until it falls down. And you'll find that this works on a lot of the bosses in the game. Step one, stand behind them. Step two, stab them in the butt until they fall down. Step three, profit. All right. Uh, there's a thing over here. I don't know if I mentioned this or not, but uh, I think I did. I, I tried to do this about a week ago, but my audio and video looked like crap. And Only so I had to go, I had to go learn about audio and video. Legends, it is dated. And that's how we ended up here. But one day an undead shall be chosen. Birdie. Birdie. To leave the undead asylum in pilgrimage. To the land of the ancient lords. Delaware. Lordran. Oh. No, that makes a lot more sense. Oh, and he sticks the landing. All right, ladies and gentlemen, we are uh, we are officially in the game. Uh, so this Firelink Shrine, this is gonna serve kind of as a nexus point uh, through a majority of the game for us here. And let's talk about game design real quick, cause when I first started playing the game, I got in here, I was like super excited to give it a shot. And in normal game design, you want to give the player some visual cues about which way they're supposed to go. Like you might put a large object in front of them and kind of draw attention to it. Uh, maybe put some kind of like animated animal in the background that they're gonna see and they're gonna be like, oh, well clearly I'm supposed to go over here. And so I went over there and over there, it, it's, it's just, it's just death over there. And I went over there and died a whole bunch. And I was like, man, I can't even kill the first enemy in the game. This game is ridiculous. And that's because you're not supposed to go that way. You're supposed to go that way, which doesn't even look like a path, really, unless you look pretty closely. It's tucked behind a tree and it blends in with the environment. Uh, anyway, so like I said, I'm going to treat this as if I would any other playthrough that I was just starting. So from this point, there's about four or five different paths that you can take. And that is the that is the one that leads you into the beginning of the game. But what we're going to do is we're going to go into these other paths and we're going to ninja loot some items from them uh, to give us a little well, bit of a jump on the been. early game. You must be a new arrival. But there's no salvation here. You'd have to... <sighs> well, since you're here, let me... There are actually two bells of awakening. Shut One's the front up above door. In the undead church. The other is far, far below. In the ruins at the base of Blight Town. Ring them both, and something happens. Brilliant, right? Ah, uh, do we get a prize? Go on. But I have a feeling that... So... Off you go. It is. <laughs> I hope we get a prize. I hope it's ice cream, guys. Bring two bells, free ice cream. You're practically. I don't know. Going hot. All right. So first off, we're gonna go down here. Uh, this is the firekeeper. She is responsible for keeping that fire going. Uh, she's incredibly fascinated by her hands, and she can't talk. So 
so we're gonna go down this way here. And we're just gonna see what kind of trouble we can get into while we're down here. So when I'm doing these early runs like this, um, this early part of the game, I'm coming to get items and I'm probably going to die. Uh, so coming down here, we're probably gonna die two to three times before we get everything that we want out of the two areas that are down here. So keep that in mind. If we die, it's, it's going as planned. Now later, we're totally going to die a lot, and those are not going to be part of the plan, and we will feel way worse about those. Uh, those things that we picked up, those are transient curses, and essentially, if you rip the arm off of an undead, it allows you to kill ghosts, because that's what the item description says. Uh, the item that we're down here for is right over there. That's what we want. Uh, this is kind of one of the late game stages right here. And there's all of these ghosts that we are not able to hit. And they deal a lot of damage and they kill us very easily. So that's what we need. Now we're going to try to get back out of here, but it's totally not going to work. Ooh, holy crap, it worked. Guys, it's official. We have our first Christmas miracle right there. We did it. We survived. Which means we have just successfully avoided one death. I'm so proud of myself. Are you guys proud of me? I'm proud of me. I don't need your validation. I do, though. I, I Secretly, I really hope you guys like me. This is unusual. You haven't lost your head. And more importantly, you're free. How on earth? Well, I shouldn't. I'm Rickett, the I? Hi, Rickett. My name is Trombone. Smith. Can you believe I'm a bit rusty. But I'm, I'm working on it. Hmm? Have you? It's safe here. It's safe. Although, I must admit, how about this? I could forward. I'll show you what made you. Uh, so this guy is a blacksmith that lives in a little 4x5 cage. And he's really not going to do anything for us until very late in the game. And then he's going to help us pop two achievements. This is one of the many reasons to use the master key. So you can open that gate and you can come back here to the Valley of the Drakes. Uh, if you do not have the master, master key, uh, this is the exit of Blight Town. That's the, that's the back door. And without a key, the back door is incredibly difficult to, to get into. Um, and often, if you can't get into the back door, you're going to have to go back around to the front uh, a few times. And you're going to have to try your luck there. And then, I mean, eventually, like, try to, try to get in the back door again. And one of the times, they'll, they'll finally let you. This is a this is a big sleepy dragon. Um, he's totally he's totally faking it right now. He's a big phony. Uh, we picked up that item over there. We're gonna pick up this item on the left, and the item on the right is gonna cause him to wake up and probably kill us. Hey, right, here we go. Ooh, guys, I'm doing so good today. That is two deaths that we have officially avoided. <laughs> let's uh, let's push on for the uh, for the old hat trick right over here. So now that we got those items, uh, we're gonna swing back through and we're gonna go into the back door here, which uh, which smells and it's a little gross. Uh, these guys are the worst security guards ever. Oh, 
Oh, I shouldn't have talked shit. I'm sorry. I, you guys are amazing. What do we say to the god of death? Uh, we're gonna get this key. Uh, security team is behind us, but we still got plenty of time, so we're okay. Alright. So there's a couple things that we would like to get from Blight Town here. And if we get them without dying, we might push into Blight Town proper and just kind of steal some items from down there, but I don't know if that'll happen or not. Let's do the thing where we uh we don't we don't do the thing with the chickens before they're all hatched. However, that goes. I used to be really scared of this log, but I've learned if you go slow on it that's when you die. You just gotta commit and push in. Just go. And we're gonna get that armor. We're gonna get this spell that we're never gonna use. And then this is, it's actually more difficult to go this way. Ooh, especially if you get hit a bunch. Oof. Ooh. Hey, hey, you. You guys. All right, we're still alive. We're still in good shape. Uh, we got some, we got a couple darts in us. Uh, this feral boy right here is kind of a dick. So we're just going to push him out of the way. Now we're going to come in here. Oh, that's what we wanted right there. Oh. Totally okay with that. Because we just got all of the items that we wanted from that area. We are set. Uh, we're going to come back down here. And we're going to be like, hey, uh, we just found the souls of two of your dead friends. Would you like to eat them? And she's gonna say yes and eat them. And now, if you look in the bottom left corner, we have an Estus Flask plus two, which is two better than an Estus Flask, is what that means. And, yep. Party favors. Let's see. I don't necessarily want that there. Stand by. Okay, that'll work for now. Uh, so now we get to go to the other path. Hello there. I believe we are not acquainted. I am Petrus of Thoroughland. Hi, Petrus. My name is Trombone. The if Magnificent. I prefer to keep a distance, if possible. You want us to socially distance? How's that? Right there. Now I can't talk to you. Hello there. I realize that I have requested that we retain our distance. But here, take this. As a token. No, go ahead. It's free. That's a friggin' penny. Dude gave oh me a my. penny. You again? Oh. I know. I have to await my companions here anyway. So what if I were to teach you would that be? So this guy's like Very well. Hey, I don't know you. Very Why don't you stand nice. over there? Just kinda keep your distance. And then he goes, eh, I'm I'm sorry, that was I didn't mean to be a dick. Um here's a penny. No. And would you like me to teach you some Jesus Only magic tricks? How do you hey, teach me how to do this thing? How do you do that? Come again. Be if how did you how did you do that thing with your shoulders? You went like you went like <gasps> I just mastered it, guys. Mastered it right there. I don't need your Jesus magic tricks. I have the power of indifference. Uh, 
Uh, so we're gonna drop down through the floor there. And we're gonna steal these things. It's nice of... In fantasy games, it's nice of them to take all these things and put them in these weatherproof uh, treasure chests here. So they don't get any water damage or anything like that. That's nice. Okay. So this is the graveyard. This is the area that when I first started playing the game, this is where I thought you were supposed to start. And as you'll notice when we get into it, it's an absolute shit show. But we're going to get... There's an item over there. We're going to get that. And then we're going to make a lap through here. Pick up a couple other items. If we're still alive at that point, then we're going to dip into the catacombs. Cool? Cool. Team break. Good huddle. It's like... I was like, skeletons? Skeletons are easy. Every game has... Low level skeletons, I should be able to Oh god, I'm dead. When I came down here with my with my newbie gear. And because I was pretty BA, um, I probably started as the deprived like my very first time coming through here. So not only uh did I not know what was going on, but I also didn't have any gear. Oh shit. And it did not go well. All right, so that's the graveyard. And now we're gonna dip into the catacombs here. Uh, the catacombs and the area after the catacombs are probably my least two favorite in the entire game. Some people really hate Blighttown. I honestly, I don't mind Blight Town, and I we'll talk more at length about it when we're actually ready for it. I kind of like Blight Town, especially compared to some of the worst areas in the game. There's an old man here that's gonna throw fire at us, like a dick. What are you doing down here, Sonny? Have some fire. Get off my lawn. All right, this is this is going pretty well so far. I I shouldn't have said anything, should I? Like we're we are just destined to die now that I said that. All right, we're going here, and we want to land right there. We did it. Guys, do you see how easy this game is? This game is so easy. Uh, this is a Titanite demon. He can be... He can be kind of an asshole from time to time. But we want this right here. Oh, please don't kill me. And stealing that item from him makes us tired, so we're just going to lay down here and take a little bit of a nap. So, what we're doing, again, this is another pretty late game area, but we needed to go down there and get those eyeballs, and then hop in the coffin here. Uh, if you do not have the eyeballs, you will not get the cutscene that we are setting up right about now. Ish. Ah, uh, there we go! See? I did that. That's my own kind of miracle right there. I don't need that dude up there to teach me miracles. I got it under control, thanks. Doing just fine. Uh-oh. What? What was that movie that takes place and the guy gets, like, buried alive? Was that a Ryan Reynolds movie also? Because we're Ryan Reynolds. So far, we, we're we Deadpool. Um, now watch it not be Ryan Reynolds, and I sound like a, an idiot. It was called something kind of dumb. Like, it was, it was either, like, Buried Alive or Underground or something like that. 
Uh, but if you did your homework and you went and watched the intro video, like I told you to, uh, you saw Nito, and this is Nito, and he's a sleepy bear right now. So we're just gonna pray to him. And we joined Old Boys Covenant back there, but we're not we're not gonna honor that. We're gonna join this one because they give us they give us knives and a miracle. His Jesus is better than your Jesus, Petrus. I didn't mean you, the viewer. Your Jesus, whichever one it is, your Jesus is probably better than all the other ones. Good job. Proud of you. Nap time, motherfucker. Wakey, wakey, eggs and bakey. All right, so those are that's those are the items that we want from down here. Uh, but being that we're still alive, we're gonna push a little bit further until until we die, and we're gonna go right down here. We're gonna get whatever this is. And then we're gonna go right down. Oops. <gasps> oh. Right down there. And we're gonna loot the dead holy man. Uh, these are the wheelie skeletons, and they're the worst. <gasps> no! I'm totally gonna get sniped by one. Here we go. fun all right let's see what items can we actually use oh hold on just a second I totally had to sneeze I apologize uh, bodily functions should not be allowed uh, I, I'm gonna do it again hold on Oh yeah, I'm I'm an inferior species because of that. Okay, here we go. This is this is pinwheel. And I shit you not, I have probably only beaten when you fight him in the early game like this, I have probably only ever beaten him like one time. Um he's not difficult. It's just remember I'm not very good, and you're probably gonna see that right here. But when we come back and we fight him later with proper gear and when we're quote unquote supposed to, uh, yeah, he's way easier then. But right now with our crappy little knife and our fancy boots and our flask full of liquor, His whole, his whole shtick is that he just makes copies of himself and throws very slow moving fireballs. Yeah. Are you? Uh oh. Yep, I heard that one. Listen, Linda. I can't kill you if you're just gonna hit me with fireballs, okay? You don't even know me, Mom. Oh, that was a. F I thought that was the real one. You got me good there, Pinwheel. My 
that he pinch and Dora. Uh oh, I hear him. Less, less fiery death, please. So far, we're doing, we're doing okay. <gasps> when you're trying to, oh, I thought I was dead there. When you're trying to like early game snipe this boss, I don't know if you're supposed to kill the clones or not, but like, it seems like you should. Oh God, oh God, oh God, beast. Listen, there are too many of you guys over here. Ooh. These are not happy feelings I'm experiencing right now. I mean, you're free to do, you're free to, holy crap. Guys, I'm not gonna lie, I'm at, I'm at like a half staff right now. That's, this is amazing. I'm so happy. Uh, we're not gonna go into the Tomb of Giants. I'm just gonna show you how terrible it is. Uh, that's the amount of light that we get when we go in here. So we're not gonna do that yet. We're alive. We just killed a boss that we weren't supposed to. Everything's coming up Millhouse, folks. We got... We got enough souls that we're just gonna go ahead and knock this out real quick and we're we're done with it and we still got so many things uh i'm gonna start dumping a little bit into strength so we can use some kind of a reputable weapon as opposed to the uh dinnerware that we have right here all right uh so here's what i'm gonna do i'm gonna go ahead and cut this video at this point uh this was a fantastic start i'm very excited about this uh, we got everything that I wanted to get done in the pre-game. And next episode, we're actually going to begin to play the game by going up that direction over there. So, we have that to look forward to. Um, but I just want to say thank you very much for being here. Uh, this is the very first video that I'm putting up on YouTube, so bear with me. Uh, if there's any audio or video issues or anything like that, if you've got any kind of suggestions for other things that I could do to improve, uh, I would very much appreciate it. Seriously, uh, let me know. But thank you all for being here. Uh, each and every one of you is amazing. Uh, have a fantastic day, and I'll see you next time. Thanks a lot, guys.